look at what Bill Barr's letter said yesterday. He said there are no, uh, no more indictments coming, no sealed indictments, no collusion, no obstruction. That's about as definitive as you can get. And, and remember kind of four key numbers in that letter, 19, 40, 500, and 2,800. 19 lawyers worked on this special counsel investigation. Most of them were Clinton supporting Democrat lawyers, 40 FBI agents, 500 search warrants, 2,800 subpoenas over a 22 month time period. And he comes back with those definitive conclusions. No collusion, no obstruction. I think mean, that's, that's the key takeaway today. So now what I'm focused on is let's move on and get focused on the American people's business. To the extent we need to hold anyone accountable, we need to go back and look at the folks who put together the dossier, took it to the secret court to get the warrant to go spy on the other party's campaign. We need to go back and make sure we hold those individuals accountable. Total vindication. Good day for the president, good day for the country. As I said, no collusion, no obstruction. Remember, when this thing started, everyone in this town says, we, we need to look in this potential that, a, that the Trump campaign worked with Russia to impact the election. And the right guy for the job, Bob Mueller, unbelievable, the right guy he, around this town, it was like he, he can almost walk on water. He is the guy we need to do this. Now he comes back with his report, which again says no collusion, no obstruction, no future indictments, no sealed indictments, as strong as it could possibly be. That is a good day for the president. More importantly, it's a good day for the country. Um, of course, the Democrats, they're already moving on to the next fishing expedition. Anybody who says at this point we should be satisfied with a very partial Cliff Notes rendering of the report is someone who doesn't want us to know the complete truth about what took place. We need to get the Mueller report. Um, I think everybody yesterday felt like, okay, this closes the door. There was no conspiracy. There was no collusion. In the final analysis, there's really no obstruction. Today, people are rereading that memo and saying, wait a second, there's a lot of uh, opaque and sly language in this memo, let's really look and see what's behind it. I don't want to read the Cliff Notes version of Macbeth. I want to read Macbeth myself. Well, the report doesn't vindicate him. Bob Mueller spent two years looking at all the evidence, and he was unable to make a determination of whether the president obstructed justice or not. Uh, the attorney general spent two days and made that determination. Uh, that wasn't fair. This needs to be uh, looked at by the American people, by the committees. We need to have the full report. We need to have the attorney general testify before Congress. And we need to hear from Bob Mueller himself.